Hi, hi. I'm Nikki. Well, I'm editing Nikki. Future Nikki? Anyway, I'm recording this little intro to let you know that I've gotten way too far ahead with my recordings. So I'm going to have to change up how I edit my Animal Crossing video. As you can see, the flower field has grown a lot since what you saw last weekend. Ah, I'm stuck. What I'm going to be doing is cutting out the mystery bottles and like these. I will be keeping anything to do with like getting new villagers or talking to Leif or any of the other characters that visit. Why can't I sit on my own stump? There we go. So I will still keep all the blather stuff, all of that fun stuff. I'm just going to cut out like the bottles, probably the balloons, just so I can try and combine two days into one. I think we still have several full days before I can do that. But I wanted to let you know that I was going to start changing my editing because I want to be able to ask questions that will affect what we do. And right now I'm just too far ahead. I'm going to return you to pass, Nikki. Enjoy! Bye-bye! Of course I didn't hit record. It's alright, she didn't have any news for us today anyway. Hi hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to Nocturne. I can the whirlwind. What are you up to? I know you're always out there, you know, being your best self and stuff. But I kind of worry you're working too hard, I can. Sometimes you've got to take a break. Your life coach. Truffles. <gasps> Black roses! I've never actually gotten the black ones. Well, in past games I have. I didn't end up doing a lot of flower breeding in my first island. I am so fancy. Aw, Coldy wants to wear boots. I'm kind of sewn into my machine right now. Sorry I can't chat, but uh, thanks for stopping by. Oh, cute shirt. Yes. Log dining table is what's hot. Okay, I wonder who the random villager is. Julia. Hi, Scoot. Looking built. Zip, zoom. What's up? What's the latest? You can't beat a cold protein shake after a hard workout. I live for that first sip. Okay. Yes! I caught an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. Hey, hey, so did I hear right? You're trying to drum up some hype for Nocturne? Buttontail? I hope so. I want to be able to brag to everyone that I was there before Nocturne got big. Hyping up Nocturne sounds like a ton of work, though. You really do a lot for this place. Actually, I've got something that I think might help. Right, so it's not huge or anything, but would showing off a sweet outdoor bench be cool? What am I saying? Of course it'd be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I'd trust me on this, so you should too. Oh. That goes with the table that we use for blathers. Oops. I bunny hopped. 
Yes! I caught a butterfly fish. Did it change from a caterpillar fish? Oh. Oops. Really? Yes! I caught a red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. I got in a fight over sharing the snacks with Goldie. I want to make up so we can eat snacks together again. But what if Goldie hates me now? I can, can you deliver this present for me? I want to have my snack buddy back. I'll save snack time. Thanks, snack time is a go all because of you. I got a delivery. This is from Benjamin. What could this be? I guess I should go ahead and see. Go ahead and open it to see. Oh, look at this. It's a maid dress? This is just my style, too. Should I try this on now? Sure. Okay. I think it's the wrong color because it blends into your fur. Looks good. You put a lot of thought into this. Sometimes I forget how sweet Benjamin can be. This is as much my fault as his. Maybe if he sees me wearing his gift, he'll feel like talking things out. I can thank you for delivering this. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. It's not much, but here's a bath towel wrap. Thank you. Right now, that's all I have to give. Hope that's okay with you. Ah, thanks for delivering the package to Goldie. You're the best. Alrighty. So how did it go? Did it seem like Goldie was still, um, angry? Nah, she's not angry. Cool, very cool. Sounds like she's not angry anymore. That's great. I guess we'll be able to make up thanks to you. You're the best, Iken. Red Snapper is the common name of dozens of fish species. I wonder why it's so popular. Are there so many types of fish that are both a shade of red and have a tendency to snap? Were there no other names? What about Burgundy Biter, Garnet Grasper, Puce Incher? The Orchid Mantis is a bug whose brilliant colors and petal-shaped limbs give it the look of a flower. This masterful mimicry allows it to hide from predators in among the orchids. But oh, this fraudulent flower. It lures other insects in to drink its nectar and makes a meal of them instead. Imagine, to behold a beautiful bud, only to discover it's a bug instead. A repulsive revelation indeed. Think carefully before you mock the mantis shrimp for its diminutive size. I warn you, it's itching for a fight. A pugilist through and through, this brightly hued fellow packs a punch. Unparalleled on land or sea. Not only are its forearms shaped like clubs and sides, its arms are naturally spring-loaded, too. Thus, the mantis shrimp's high-speed blows crack open crab and oyster shells with ease. And should you grab it with your hands, you might discover why it's called the thumb splitter, too. The lobster is rather famous for its two large claws. But did you know that, in fact, it has six claws total? Of course, the four tiny claws 
aren't as threatening as its large crusher claw is. That pincher can put a hundred pounds of pressure on in a pinch. Just a little something to bear in mind when a lobster tries to shake your hand. Uh, the butterfly fish is just as charming with its beautiful colors and elegant movements. I refer to it as a butterfly fish, but it's actually a grouping in which there are over a hundred types. These beautiful aquatic friends swim in schools amid coral, fluttering back and forth with the tides. The sheer awe one must experience when witnessing such a sight. It must be a dream. So much better than actual butterflies. I don't know, it sounds like going to one of those butterfly houses where a whole ton of them fly around you. Just, you have to hold your breath. The Dunkleosteus flourished long before the dinosaurs and was a sort of armored fish. Curiously, only fossils for the head and shoulders have been found. We simply we must simply imagine the rest. While its face was rather frightening, while its face was rather frightening, I'd like to picture a cute little tail and perhaps some fluffy paws on its fins. That sounds terrifying. Such speculation is not scientific, of course and essentially amounts to paleontological, paleontological fan fiction. I own that. You're, you're into paleontological fanfic? Yeah, alright. Okay. The Quetzalcoatlus, the undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the late Cretaceous period. It had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. While it no doubt soared magnificently, we now know it also crawled on all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really. This illustrious sky god scrambling on the ground like a common beetle. They say you should never meet your heroes. Oh, the carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in their throat, strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb when dealing with another species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths. Although having neither thumbs nor fingers, I'm quite safe from this little fellow. There are more than 140 species of anchovy, but they do all have some things in common. They are all small and, fed and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter food particles from the sea. In my sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. Okay, Scoot, I got it. Yay! Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Nocturne's brand new tailors! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Nocturne is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. At this time, we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable to make a nice place for y'all to visit, so be sure to stop by. Yes, please stop by. Yay! Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. 
Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions so that the tailor shop could be built. Take it away, I can. Anything to add? We're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Iken. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Yes, well then. Let's hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Nocturne's beautiful tailors. Hooray! We've gotten pretty big now. We only got a couple more houses to place. You know what? I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions. I'm gonna teach you. Ah, let's do laughter. You ready? That's what laughing from the gut looks like. Really clears the head. Give it a whirl, Cottontail. Okay. I learn laughter. <laughs> they say laughter's the best medicine. Ta -da! Yay! Alright, the last two houses are ready. Then I want to have a sneaky path back here. With a little incline behind this cliff. I'll have to be able to terraform and stuff to do it. So we can get down to reds easier. Now to hunt. Oh, I also really need to... Move the rest of the bamboo over here. Wow, that was a long time in between me saying those two parts of that sentence. What was that hop about? Great design, huh? That one's interesting. Not bad. I like that it's multicolored. I think I'll leave that one up. Good things in store number four. Self-possessed coordinator. Yeah, I definitely get possessed. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not want the lion man. Alright, let's talk to the lion. Well, hello there. I bet you didn't expect to meet someone like me in a place like this. The name's Lionel. I'm a lion about town. Or in this case, about islands. And you must be Iken. From Nocturne, right? We should probably stick together, don't you think? Sorry, Lionel, we already got a type like you. I need at least one of every type. To get all the reactions. Okay, Julia's a bird, and, oh, there's a balloon, and she is snooty, so we only need normal and cranky. Hopefully we can get those. We got a toilet. Excellent. Raining here, too. It is some kind of gorilla. Need that blue shell. Just in case somebody else gets in first. <laughs> it's a money rock island. Oh. Hi, Boyd. Came here on a whim, but this island doesn't seem ba bad. Uh oh. Hang on, you're Iken from Nocturne, yeah? I had no idea this was some kind of trendy destination, but it's cool to be hobnobbing with you here. Okay, Boyd, what are you? He is cranky. 
Do I have to pick the cranky monkey? I suppose. Can't guarantee I'll find another cranky. I see. Want to come to my island? Yes, I'm asking. But you like it there, right? Everyone is neighborly as you? Yeah, it's a great island. Ha 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 ha. I'm just funnin' with you. Of course you love your home island. Why else would you be inviting me? If I contact this Tom Nook fella, he'll help me with all the paperwork? I'm no good with that nonsense. Reckon I ought to start packing up my stuff as soon as I get back home from here. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess I won't be calling that place home much longer, will I? Alright. We got our... Frankie one. I need to do the... Things... Well, at least the gorilla came with money. Aw. Okay, so we need one more villager. Dark and rainy. And I still gotta be careful because it's still scorpion season. I looked and we don't have any villager type. That we don't have... Ooh, a fin. I mean, I wasn't planning on fishing. But... Oh, it's a sucker! Wiggling, gotta stand still. Stop your wiggling. Gotcha. Yes! I caught a goliath beetle. Am I a legend, or what? This island won't be very good for hunting scorpions. And there's no people here. That was a bust? Oh, wait a second. Never mind, there's a weird longfish. Let me go. I would like to check the weird longfish. Yeah. Yes, I caught a ribbon eel. Can it tie itself into a bow? I figured it was probably the eel. This is some good fishing weather. But it's super late. And I don't particularly want to keep playing. Too long. Bell-bottom flamenco. This is stovetop. Toothbrush. Let's go. Soaring tulip, huh? I like that they changed the names, but I think it would be great if there was a little change to each of the planes, too. Nothing big. I typically play at night when I play. Not usually quite this late, not to where it's already almost morning. Though I have. Usually if it was a project I was working on. Like, terraforming something. So I particularly like Animal Crossing at night. Of course, I like the entire world at night. It looks like it's not taken. This one is by who we asked, Boyd. So that island was just empty for no reason. Super weird that the game's more rainy than Florida right now. Okay. What? I... No! I didn't wait long enough to turn around. Hmm. Usually I think the fire is about here. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna have to autofill. Ah, 
Yeah, it is that one. Oh, well, that's a big one. Does he kind of glow a little bit? That's cool. The rest of these can be sold. Oh, I didn't get my heart crystals. I don't have that many. No, I want. So I found that on some of my recordings, the speech, me talking, is in line with when I was saying it, but my character's actions are completely off sync. So I'm going to have to detach the audio and move it slightly myself. <laughs> and that's for 6.5. And I left that part that was distinct out on purpose. I mean, it was already 30 minutes. But it's so annoying. Problem. Like fixing things in a socket wrench. Okay. Would you get your kitchen, I mean, wedding studio ready? Wedding set? Yeah. Definitely not your kitchen. Ooh, the cloud floor. Ooh, I want this wall, too. So cute. Hi. Ceremony photo, wedding chapel. Got it. Do you want the same colors? Oh, he made new furniture? Uh-huh. What? Yes, yeah, still pink and white? Okay. Yep. I got it. We've done this before. Ooh, we have a pipe organ this time. Gotta have that. Go ahead. Ooh, I get the pipe organ. Yay. Crystals. Hmm. Blueberry pie is reporting tango hockey as go. I'm ready to go home. Let's bounce. Let's pack tracks and make snacks. I kind of want the entrance to constantly be changing here. Oh. Yo, I can. I'm in a jam. I finally got the let out and started cleaning my pad, and there's so much stuff I don't need. Right now, I've got four things I never use, but feel weird about throwing out Cottontail. Things like what? Well, for one thing, there's a lacy shirt. All yours for 500 bells. Sure. Why was it on your floor? What else you got? It needs more candles and skulls. Hey, 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 guys, I'm a beach bunny. 
<laughs> yes! I got an abalone! Why do I want a sandwich now? Wasn't actually expecting- Oh, there's a balloon! Is it going out to sea or coming in? It's coming in. I wasn't expecting to find something new while out here. I just need to do my scallop so I can keep getting the mermaid set. Wisp is here. I just saw him. Pin it. Oh, it's a wall pin it. Alright, Wisp. Let's scare your pieces out of you. Ah, a ghost! It's just me again, bud. This is the third time. Yeah. I'll do it. Thank you. There's always five pieces. There's one in the bamboo area. And there's one. In between. Being a jerk. And that one floated up higher. I caught a wisp spirit pee. Would you believe? There's blood available, but no one's gonna let me fill it up. This place is like the dollar store. You came in for just one thing, and now I'm searching for ghost bits. And I was almost done. You're a sucker fish, aren't you? You're not a sucker fish! Yes! There she blows! I caught a whale shark. I'm telling you, it was this big. <laughs> I don't think I had to tell you. You could see it. Looking for some ghost bits. Need to find some ghost bits. I'm still missing ghost bits. I wanna finish looking for the ghost bits. Looking... Hi and low. What a way to do some netting. Barely awake at all. And I need to finish this vid. Oh no! Ah uh, man. I'm gonna have to catch him. You don't get to do that. No. Mm-hmm. I see you. You don't just stab a person in the middle of a song. It's highly inappropriate and toxic behavior. Mine now. Going back to saw now that that little brat is caught. No, <gasps> Celeste, don't get rid of your neck. Pooty toot, and a very good evening to you. Are you a resident of this island? Aha, you must be the famous icon. 
It's lovely to meet you. I'm Celeste. Perhaps you've met my brother, Blathers. He's a museum curator. You'd know if you had. Blathy, er, I mean my brother, likes to go on and on and on about everything. It's quite endearing, assuming you're not in a rush. Oh, but there I go, getting distracted. I came here to examine the night sky, at Blather's suggestion. But it's so much better than I had dared hope. Each star is as clear and distinct as if it had been hand-drawn. I wonder if we might even see a shooting star. Have you ever heard that a wish upon a falling star will bring you good fortune, Iken? The stars above falling all the way to Earth just to hear our wishes. Isn't that a lovely, romantic idea? If you do that and make a wish on the star, you might earn yourself some good fortune. Oh, I nearly forgot. I recently ran across this DIY recipe in one of my books on the stars. It seems there's a magic wand that if you make a wish and give it a wave, it lets you become a whole new you. I jotted down the recipe with the intention of trying it out later, but... I'd like to give it to you as a token of our new friendship. I do hope you'll try it out sometime. And if I find any other re interesting recipes, I'll be sure to write them down for you. Thank you for this lovely chat. I'm sure we'll meet again the next time I come to look at the stars. I will deal with you after I deal with the ghost pieces. I have a star for you to tell me about. I need one more ghost bed. Where's its floating? I'm not joking. Ghost bed. Where are you, ghost bear? I cannot find you. Where did you float? Ooh. Come here, you scared me. You got a portable radio. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you bought it? Oh, okay. Thank you. I got the new one. I'll find a place for it, as I'm looking for the ghost bits. And let's, uh... It's a little red one. Yeah, I have a shell wand that does the same thing as the star wand. Ghost bit, where are you ghost bit? Where did you go to? I need you now. Ghost pit. Did I see you, ghost pit? There you are. I've got you now. Yay! All done. I will give him ghost pits. He will give me prizes. And I'll show Celeste. Jim and I. Star fragment. Here you go. Ta da! Good job. I would like something I don't have. 
because your expensive caps out at 250 bells. Something new. Table setting. Okay. I mean, I didn't have it. It's a weird one. Mr. Wisp. I don't know why I put my letter away. I seem to be full of song today. I need to keep my net out. Or else scorpions will knock my lights out. Always have your net out. When it's scorpion and tarantula season. I found this. Of course, what you have there is a Gemini fragment. There are many tales and stories about Gemini. This is my favorite. Long ago and far away, the great god Zeus had twin sons named Castor and Pollux, who were both brave warriors. While the brothers were very close, and alike in many ways. Only Pollux had inherited Zeus's immortality. When Castor eventually died, the grieving Pollux prayed to share his immortality with his brother. Zeus took pity and turned the twins into the constellation Gemini, so they would always be together. I suppose the lesson of this story is that occasionally even Zeus does something for someone else. Oh, please pardon me. I didn't mean to talk so long. You must have other places to be. Thank you. Sure. Anyone want to go for a swim? I mean, it's a whale shark, so we'd be okay. Okay, now I need to finish the thing for Pascal. I can turn this off. I got a scallop! Finally! Yes, you can have it. Here you go, bud. Nice. Alright, deep truth. Ready to feel. How come drawers are where you keep your drawers? Pointlessly confusing, man. No need for it. Wrap your noodle around that. Bye, Pascal. You gave me a pearl. That's useful. There's the beach. Beach. Let's go get away. I'm actually leaving now. Bye-bye!